This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Bizaway. Not shying away from the challenge. The challenge firmly on Sohal as we get ready for the first ball of match number 45. It's drilled down the ground for four and the fielder was back there. Probably didn't have that far to go, but it was just hit so well. Now Hamza is going to go leg side. He's going to get a full toss. He's going to put it away. Thick edge. Man, there's nobody back here. It's going to fly away and it's going to be four runs. Now up in the air and out of here. Maximo! Hamza is on the charge and it's really hard to see how he can be stopped here. Just got to kind of hope for a mistake. This over. 18 surely will go magical. Now it will. He just helps this one away. Pure timing. That one has gone into the sunset. Well, like a cowboy with the dame in the old-fashioned westerns. It's riding away and it ain't coming back. Raz around the wicket. Oh, that's a great shot, really. I mean, that's not a bad delivery at all. Now elevates over the offside, and that's going to be four more. Well, it gets full toss. It's going to be a no ball, and it's going to be put up and over the boundary. Maximo! And seven up. Oh, he just plays a normal shot, and he's going to get four, and that's maturity as well. Oh, class work. Well, I don't really know what I'd be trying now to Hamza. He misses the Orca short this time, Raza, and he gets sent over the fence. All right, he has his turn here, and he's going to get enough. Gets it over the top, gets it into the table. Maximo. Hamza on 48, and that'll be his 50. And he just makes it look so easy. 50 and 12 balls right up there with the fastest 50s we've had. Now Hamza gets on the charge and pumps this one out of the ground. Well, when a guy starts being good and then he improves dramatically, this is what you end up with. <laughs> All right, fourth overtime. And it's going to start with a hook. It's going to leave us. And that will be going to the centro. What a shot. Maximo. And, well, he's going to have ideas of his own. Well, you know, there's a little bit of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones about this partnership. And I think they're going to push each other to new heights and scary places. Won't have to. Yassir picks it up and hits it out of the park. Maximo! And Raza will uh, end up in the naughty 40s. Well fielded by Paolo there. Here we go with Imtiaz Ahmed. And he's going to be helped up and out of the ground. History beckons for Hamza Salim Dar. That one's gone downtown. Maximo! 2,996 runs for Hamza Salim Dar, star of the ECN. And that will do it. 3,000 runs to Hamza. And only the second player to achieve that milestone. It's a significant moment in his career. And the first person to congratulate him is Yasser Ali, who's overseen his development at close quarters. And you can just see that's a nice moment between those two. Yasser pulled away and you know, I'll put this with the rest. Maximo! Right now we're on Century Watch now. That's the next milestone. And he could do it this over. Halim to throw up a few moon balls. And the first one is going to disappear. Maximo! Reaches. Gets it. All the way. Maximo! Ground rule double as Hamza spends... A little bit of time in the 90s, maybe not too much, because that takes him to 95. Yassir now goes on the sweep, and he's going to get a boundary. He'll get four here. In the air, and this is going to be six as well. So Yasser Ali is going to go large. He can really defend the boundaries easily. This is a ball which is hit out towards the boundary. It'll just creep through the dirt and that'll be four and he's going to face Mohamed Waris hit straight and this will be Hamza's hundred his third of the series 
and he brings it up with a straight hit. Yet another boundary and just 24 balls to bring up the milestone. That's right up there in the top handful of hundreds. What a knock that is. And have a look at the wagon wheel. This guy is so talented. Now once more, and he might get it. Watch the trampoline Tortuga. It's going to get past the fielder. And that's going to be four more. And the way he's batting, he might do it. And that's going to be another six. I think he could, could go over the 163. And he might. There's another six. Maximo. And really, you got to feel for the bowlers in this circumstance. As this will be away from the fielder. And this isn't going to be cut off either. So he moves to 120. Halim gets lifted up and out of the ground as well. Rinse and repeat. And... Really, we've got a perfect storm here. You've got a team, Sohal, Hospitalet, who have their captain unable to bowl. Yes, they're on 45. And that'll be his 50. Brings it up. Gundy ball outside the leg stump. Doesn't really trouble Yassir too much. And he's had to play second fiddle here, Yassir, but he certainly played it well. 51 off 16 balls. Last ball, the over. And lifted up for six. Maximo, 193. And, folks, there's still two overs remaining. Hamza, 133. Supersonic over. Gets him to the record. And it's going to start with not a six but a four. Okay, so he's 137. All right, that is no ball. That's an awful result. If you're a Battle of Shaheen fan, by the way, Hamza has played a fair bit of cricket for Battle of Shaheen. But this is a seven up. It's going to no ball plus six. And still free hit. Uh, and there we go. It's a full toss. Adios Pelota ball. That one ain't coming back either. Harms at a 149. Back to the action. And it's going to be six more. And there's his 150. And he is the only the third batter in ECN history. He's brought up his 3,000. And what a way to do it with a massive knock. It's the fastest a team's ever been to 200. Goes again, and there's 161. He only needs three more for the record now. The Jaguars are 224. They go past VOC Rotterdam in the ECL 19 final. And he will. And that's an all-time world record for Hamza Salim Dar. In over 3,500 ECN matches, he goes to 167 not out. It also brings up the highest score by any team in ECN history. Last ball of the over. And why not finish with one more? And he will. Maximo. 173 off the stick of Hamza Slim Dar. And he's going to start by getting the first one away. Maximo. 179. And goes after it again as this one got the legs. And it's a thick edge. It's going to be four. Got to go Maximo or bust here, Hamza. He goes high, and that's six. So he only needs two more sixes in two balls. The 250 comes up. And he goes, and he's not going to get it. In fact, he might be out. He won't be. They won't run. So uh, probably the only thing that hasn't gone harm's his way here. Last ball coming up. And it's a false shot, but guess what? It'll bring him a boundary. And he's going to finish 193 not out, and he's going to go 30 runs past the old record. A target of 258 is coming up. It's going to start with a white. Well, that's only 257 they need now. And now Siddiqui, well, he wants to get a couple back. And he will he will be able to get four runs back here. That's a pretty good shot by Siddiqui. All he can do is swing the bat. And that's exactly what he'll do. Gets another boundary. So two boundaries in the over. All right, lift it up and out of here. As Hamza opens the bowling as well. Not finding it quite as easy, though, as it disappears out of the ground. Maximo! Now, 
up in the air and oh, straight through the hands of Umeraju. He doesn't have the gloves on anymore because Abu Bakar Siddiqui is doing the keeping. Lifts it up in the air and the fielder, Yasser Ali, will go back and take the catch. So Siddiqui falls on his sword after a bright 16, but he's going to have to go. And Hamza, wow, well, he gets into the action with the ball now as well. Right, in the air. And there's no long on for no particular reason. <laughs> he's a long way wide. Chopped on, and Asjad's going to have to go. It's a day that he'll want to finish as soon as possible. It's finally, Safras gets one in the general vicinity of the batter, and a little inside edge takes it onto the stumps. So Sahal lose their captain 33 for two. Raju Sazad has a go, and as predicted, he'll swing for the fences straight away, and he'll get it. And uh, Maximo time. Asjad does the fielding, having just taken off all the batting equipment. His leg spin, but he's met, and he's met pretty well. It's a good shot. Maximo. Dragged down and fetched and hit Maximo to Shazad. Well, maybe they can keep hitting like this. They could get 18 Maximos in the innings. Hit hard and hit well. Maximo. So, yeah, Yasser, I don't think he's quite enjoying the, the treatment he's getting here. Well, this one looks like a bit of a wrong one, actually, but it's picked up and it's out of the ground. And now Hamza gets the wicket and he slides one through. Everything he's touching, turning to gold at the moment. As he does it once with pace, once with spin. He has certainly achieved something monumental tonight. In the air, catching opportunity. Should be held and it will be. And this time Farouk Sahail doesn't have to go back to the wall like a baseball outfielder. He'll just take a few steps in. And he'll end the innings of Latif. And Hamza does it again. Now, uh, he's telling everyone that was his plan. Not so sure about it. It was a ball that probably should have been hit out of the park. Now, this is into the gap. And this will be four. Nice shot from Kamar Shazad. Cut has enough to get it over the infield. And although it pulls up, it'll still run for four. And that will be the end of Imtiaz as Farouk Sahail, who's probably going to bat three, I'd imagine. <laughs> he never got a hit. Now he comes in to make his mark on the game. Full and fairly straight. It's a wild swing from Imtiaz. He gets castled. In the air. Oh, Hamza, he's totally misjudged this. Maybe loses it in the lights. And he'll get a wicket here. So playing back, didn't bounce as much. And Well, how do you follow up none for 73? Yeah, follow it up with a duck. And he's saying, hey, I caught mine. And now, to rub salt in the wound, Kamasha's out, it's going to get hit for four next ball. That's ball tonight. Yeah, he reaches and he hits. Kamasha's out. Goes big and straight. And it's going to start with... Oh, another catch going down. Yes, here this time. Didn't fancy it. The way it goes. Well, where's that going? Can he find it? Oh, finally, a catch has been taken. Amir Hamza will hold on to the opportunity. Mohamed Mawakas with the wicket. And uh, the only question now, can they get that margin? Srinath coming to cover me for the weekend. Oh, here's a run out waiting to happen. Now, is anyone at the stumps? Oh, it's like a slow motion run out. And it'll be direct hit in the end. And, well, Kamar, he was just trying to get back down the, the business end. And he wasn't able to. I mean, I've seen statues move quicker than, than Halim does there. <laughs> Last ball of the night. Mistimed. And that will do it. So history has been made here. In match 45, fairly average second innings, really, with uh, no real possibility in this universe of Sohal chasing that that score down. It would have been like the, the South Africa versus Australia 438-434 game. But there's Hamza getting in to congratulate his teammate.